Huh? <sighs> There's my little wallflower. I wonder what she's up to. <sighs> Looks like she's been in the gardening store yet. Look at all that stuff. She's seriously trying to carry that all by herself. Oh, hey! Do you need any... Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, hey. You all right there? Did you hurt yourself? No. No, no, hey, hey. Hey, let me take a look at your head. Not easy there. I'm just gonna look at it. Can I? Well, seems like you got all your fingers. I know you said you're fine, but... Mm, hey, forgive me for not trusting the judgment of a woman who decided balancing six clay pots in one hand and a huge bag of earth in the other was a great idea. Oh, you were fine until I startled you? No, hey, let me help you with that. What were you gonna do with these anyway? Uh huh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Planting the sunflowers before the roots freeze. Well, it's a bit early in the season, isn't it, though? I mean. Oh. You're gonna sell them at the fall carnival this year. Huh. Well, um, well, these ones aren't too bad, then. Y yeah, yeah, I think they can be fixed right up. I, th I tell you what, give me some glue, and maybe an hour, and I'll make sure they're as good as new. No, I insist. Well, it's like you said, if I hadn't startled you, you wouldn't have dropped them. Huh? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting the sack of earth where it needs to go. Oh, hey look, I have got no doubt that you're capable of handling it yourself, but... But it goes against my morals to let a woman carry all these things alone. Just call me old-fashioned. No, no. No need to thank me, just tell me what you want it. Ladies first. No, I am serious. After you. Wow. No, I like what you done with the house. You made it real nice here. Well, you cleaned up the greenhouse. Replanted the garden. Yeah, well, usually I just see glimpses of it when I pass by on a run. But I remember I used to look a few months ago. That old lady, Mrs. Beaufort, lived here before. She sure knew how to keep the townspeople on their toes. Uh, yeah, it used to be the invasion of garden gnomes and statuettes of Egyptian cats everywhere. The garden was a mess, and the porch was bright pink. <laughs> but I guess you already know that, seeing as how you're the new occupant. Oh, did you know that she set fire to the trees in the front yard? Yeah. Yeah, she did it to get the house to look like something from an old witcher's tale or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, she told me that once in the line to the liquor store. You know, the kids from around town always tried to go trick-or-treating here on Halloween. I, I, yeah, I'm serious. Rumor has it, old Mrs. Beaufort was possessed by a demon every year around October 31st. 
and the brave soul that was, dare I say, stupid enough to wander up to the house at the stroke of midnight and knock three times would be granted a wish. But as soon as any kid got a few feet away from the front lawn, Mrs. Beaufort would slam the front door open, cackling at the top of her lungs, and throw eggs at them. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was an eccentric, all right. I really like the color you chose, by the way. Those dark green shutters really go nicely with the white. You do all this yourself? Huh. Call me impressed. Here's fine? Alright. <clears throat> Is there anything else I can do for you? Hey, there's a lot of sunflowers and, uh... Looks like a storm's coming. Yeah, trust me. The sky might look all kinds of blue right now, but my shoulder never lies. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it tingling. And that only happens before it pours down like no one's business. Oh, you want to bet, do you? Well, all right, I tell you what. I'll help you dig out as many of these as possible. And if it doesn't start raining in 20 minutes, I'll owe you a hundred. Oh, I sound too cocky. Well, that's because I know I'm right. A hundred bucks. You in? Or you scared you'll lose? You'd rather I buy you pumpkin seeds. Alright, well, look who suddenly gained some confidence. <laughs> All right, pumpkin seeds it is then. Well, do I know what I'm doing? Well, I'm not a complete Neanderthal. Well, have you know that I used to help Mrs. Beaufort out with some of the gardening before she was hospitalized? Yeah, I might not have been blessed with them green fingers like yourself, but I know how to dig a couple of flowers without damaging the roots. Oh, you won't believe it until you see it, huh? Alright, well, in that case, it's time I prove myself. <clears throat> you know, I just realized this is the first time that you and I have had a conversation that lasted for more than five minutes. Yeah, really. We might be neighbors, but I barely see you around. You always keep yourself to yourself, and times I have tried talking to you, you're always in such a hurry to get away. Well, yeah you do. Okay, you remember that time of the summer fair? I tried to talk to you next to the corn dog stand and you ran away like it was Mephistopheles or something. Oh, it's nothing personal, huh? Ah, you wound me, darling. And here I was, walking around thinking I was special. Because you get really nervous around people you don't know. Ah, social anxiety. How long have you had it? Since you were a kid. Yeah, I get it. No, I do. I mean, maybe social situations don't bother me the same way, but I get scared of things like everyone else. Fear is fear, right? <laughs> Why is a guy like me to be scared of? Well, <laughs> lots of things. I, I get scared all the time. Give an example. Um. All right. Uh. I, I'm scared shitless and needles. It's God's honest truth. If I need to go to the doctors and have my blood taken, I'm the guy in the waiting room looking like he's about to pass out. Huh? We still have a hard time believing me, huh? <sighs> oh. The dog tags. 
No. It's, uh, it's not much of a story. You know, darling, for someone usually so shy, you're quite stubborn once you set your eye on something. Don't act coy. I see you, you know. No, I'm weird. You can't seem to figure me out, huh? Not uh, typical. No, I feel like I'm pretty much an open book. You're the mysterious one. Oh, think you can get all the puzzle pieces to fit in that pretty little head of yours if I just tell you. Want to hear my story? Alright. It was... Just, uh, hand me that shovel and I'll tell you. Can't really talk unless my hands are busy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm warning you, though. <clears throat> I'm not a good storyteller, so, uh... <sighs> Where do you want me to start? Well, parents died in a plane crash when I was five, so I don't remember much about them. I lived with my aunt and uncle in Missouri. Yeah, they were decent enough. Not much to know, really. Didn't have a purpose in life until I came across the recruitment center outside my high school. Sergeant who was recruiting thought I'd make a good Marine if I survived past Hell Week. I was tall and scrawny thing at 18. Always up to no good. But Sarge saw potential to build muscle where there were bones and character where there was none. <laughs> Careful, darling. Keep looking at me like that, and I will get you into trouble. Don't change the subject. Well, yes, ma'am. I did four tours in Afghanistan before enemy forces blew up my squadron's tank. Left me with three broken ribs, dislocated hip, and a shattered shoulder. Now the only thing that holds it together is a bunch of metal. <laughs> oh, it's nothing, really. I got off easy. Well, anyway, now that I'm retired, I get to enjoy spending all my free time in the wilderness. Free soloing and leading groups of tourists up the trails to the Orphan's Peak. Yeah. Working with a local forest ranger, sure beats getting shot at. What was that like? Why, the first time I was in battle? You know... It's kind of hard to describe. <clears throat> it seems so far away now. Can't really remember what I was doing. But I remember I thought about the gunshots and the grenades sounded like fireworks. The scent of gunpowder, bullets in the sides of cars, it all seemed so. No, oh, no. And then there was just fire. I think it was real at first. Screams of dying men. It reminded me so much of the shouting crowd on New Year's Eve. Surreal. That was what it was like. It was just... uncanny. Like something familiar yet... out of body. What is it? I, I lied? 
What about what? Oh. Oh, you think I'm great at telling stories? Is that so? Well, in that case, I'm very flattered. Then what about you? Yeah, you. Come on. Beautiful young woman living all by herself in this big old house. There has to be a story there somewhere. You're not alone. Then who? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, I hate to say I told you so, but... Ouch. Now, come on. Let's get out of here before we get drenched. Yep. I told you. The shoulder never lies. I guess you owe me now, huh? Well, you don't have a hundred bucks. Who said I wanted your money? That's right. I never specified. Well, I was going to ask you to let me inside so I'd have an excuse to talk to you some more, but since you so kindly opened the door for me, I guess I'll have to think of something else now, won't I? Drink? Uh, sure. How can I say no to an iced tea? Uh, Thank you, darling. Ah, mm. Fuck. This tastes amazing. Is that pear and lavender? Do you do this from scratch? <laughs> Shit, is there anything you can do? Jesus, I swear. Now you've ruined the artificial stuff for me, for good. What's this? Usually keep a stack of books on your kitchen table? Oh, you like to read while you're eating breakfast. No, I, I can totally see that. Now, let's see. What we got here? Alright, I'm, I'm curious. My aunt already said... You can always get to know a person by the books they keep in their shelf. Or in your case, on the kitchen table. And <laughs> contrary to your beliefs, milady, I'm not illiterate. Uh -huh. So you're a fan of horror. Gujo, Shining, Turning of the Screw, Chestnut Man. Oh, what's this? Taming of the Beast. Sounds intriguing. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Now I have to see what this one's all about. Why? Why would it be so bad? 